support your hobby hobby. Welcome, Strategy Battle Gamers, to another GBHL YouTube video. You are here with GBHL James and GBHL Jamie, and we're unboxing an old Lord of the Rings set. Some Warg Riders. Now, why are we unboxing an old Lord of the Rings set, and especially the Warg Riders, Jamie? Well, we're going to need them for the Middle Earth Deadliest Warband. Middle Earth Deadliest Warband! <laughs> I love that now. <laughs> <laughs> the Middle Earth Deadliest Warband thing that we're doing. And, um, yeah, we're going to need these. So, we're going to unbox them and compare them to what we. Well, we should have a Fell Warg video up as well soon. We're going to be unboxing Fell Warg soon. So, we will get a good comparison between the Wargs. Yeah, so, so let's let's go for it. This is your box. Come on. You're doing some weights for me, haven't you, Jamie? So you should be okay at doing I did, this. Like one lift with you. Like one, a couple of weeks ago. Did some deadlifts yesterday. My back is killing me. Awesome. So these are the wards, and we're bringing these as part of the Angmar. Angmar force, yeah. The Angmar. And days. potentially also might make work their way into all this, depending on. So we get six in this box. It used to be twelve. It used to be twelve. Oh, it used to be twelve. But only six now. So I'm gonna have a look at the paint again. Oh, it wow, it recommends four paints. But what, four. But what paints are they? Uh, so, Codex Grey, that doesn't even exist anymore. Scorch, Scorch Brown. I'm going to see if I can do the uh, uh, conversion. Camo oh, yeah. Green and Bestial Brown. So, I'm guessing... Scorch Brown is the best brown in the world. And what, if anywhere it, has it... Is it not the same as... Um, no, it's not. It's what, the, what, what, Scorch Brown's a little bit darker. Is it a little bit darker? Yeah. Codex Grey, is that a... a, a Ad Ad Administratum Grey, I think. Administratum Grey. Camo Green. Castellan Green? No, uh, Castellan Green would Darker. be... Um, yeah. Bestial Brown? Mournfang Brown? brown? I'm not, I, don't, I don't know. Well, that was that was a useless bit of video yeah. for you. <laughs> I am very much from this like sort of generation of paints. Like I know things. I, I know all the paints in that. Well, I don't know the new ones, really. I'm starting to learn them. It just, it just really, really strikes me. Just even looking at the boxes and the paint jobs that have been done by, um, obviously, heavy metal, heavy me the heavy metal team. Yeah. Just how much better the Hobbit plastics are. Yeah. So much, much better. Do you want to look at the wargs? I'll have a little look at the wargs. <laughs> <laughs> now, obviously, one of the really interesting things in the move from thank you, <laughs> one of the really interesting things from the move from Lord of the Rings to the Hobbit, and it isn't just to do with the miniatures; it's obviously to do with the look in the movies. Yeah. We have a different style of warg. Yeah, we've so, got very much. Well, they are feral wargs. They are just wild and fell so wargs much... look like wolves because yeah. that's what a warg is. It's a wolf. Uh, whereas the old ones looked more like hyenas. Yes, and yeah, they, they do a little bit. Don't they? They look a lot more like hyenas. Let's see if we can get a good shot for people. Um, okay. they, 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 these wogs look really fat. There That's we go. That's a nice focus there. Yeah. And they're all, well, there's three with a mouth open pose and three with a close pose. So you basically get two different poses, yep. three of each. Uh, in terms of the dip, I can imagine these being very, very easy to paint, just a little it's bit just of dry brushing. Dry, literally, it's just dry brushing. And, and dry brushing is for winners. Face. Yeah, a little bit of detail on the face and the tongue, so I can imagine they'd look pretty decent quite easily. Yeah. Uh, no problems with leg snaps or anything with wogs or anything, not like having horses or... Not so much, they've got a bit more stability on them. Uh, there is something um, on some of them that I don't really like, see if we can show it on this leg here. This one here. Um, mm -hmm. Their leg is held to the base by a bit of grass. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. it just looks a bit... You always cut that off. Yeah, just you put a rock underneath if it yeah. needs the stability. So those are the wargs themselves. I must say, I do prefer the look of the Hobbit wargs much more. Right. They're just better. Well, they're better quality plastic. Better quality better, plastic. Better production. Now onto the actual orcs themselves. The, the orcs actually aren't that bad, you know, considering how old they are. And something you might notice is here, we get a variety of options to equip them with. Wow, because that, that's very that's, kind of that's Warhammer very slash very well So we've Warhammer got 40K. one, two, three, four... We've got four um, swords and one, two, three bows with three quivers, and they come to be used on other models. So you know, for a hobby collecting point of view, and converting. That's really interesting, and as, uh, as well as that, you've obviously got two arms that have got some kind of lance. Can have they got uh, lances? They, no, they've got throwing spears. Oh, so they've got throwing spears as a okay. As that's interesting. Uh, and then actually, on some of the models themselves, you've actually got uh, one, two that have got swords. Yep. And two that have got bows. Two with throwing spears. And two with throwing spears. Yep. So these literally are just for other... Do extras. Extras. Yeah. Oh, you don't see that very much, do you? No. So the good thing is, obviously we've got the six shields and probably going to have shields because of Deadliest Warband, but if you didn't want them to have shields, these shields can then go on something else. Yeah. Same with the swords. You can now, with obviously the change in rules, Fainting. they can get put onto something that actually might want a sword or a bow. Fantastic. And have you seen many of these warg riders in action? 
over yes. the years. Over, over the years, yes. I mean, they've got quite a nice... Um, actually, they haven't got... It. <laughs> they used to be quite popular because they used to be Evil's Cavalry. Mm-hmm. Like, back back in the, the game's infancy, they were the Evil Cavalry model. Mm-hmm. That was just typical because it was Rohan versus Oryx and these won't attack them. So. Yep. They've sort of declined in their use now because there are much better options out there for evil cavalry. But Angmar doesn't have those options, so Angmar's <laughs> getting war riders. Fantastic. So should we have a little bit of a look at the stats of a war rider? You might know him off by heart. Yes, we've got the Orcs stat line, which is fight three, strength three, defense four, five with a shield, uh, one attack, one wound, courage two. And then you've got the warg, which is fight three, strength four, defense four, I'm guessing it'd be the same profile in same, all the same, same in all of them, yeah. Yeah, so Wild Rider, or Cavalry. And yep, you've got the option for throwing spears if you want that. Although, that's going to be 6 plus to hit. Yeah, it's not great. Not very good. And they well, they used to lose them when they were dismounted. Because mm-hmm. they could only be used on the back of the Wild. Now, though, I'm, I'm pretty certain they can use them at all times. Now, explain to me, because Wargs have obviously got a special, you know, there is yes, special yeah. rules effectively. It's a bit so, different to riding a horse, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so because the Warg itself has a profile, and in that profile it has um, an attack value and a strength value, they have the ability to stick around if the rider dies. Okay. So let's say you shoot off my Orc on top, I take a courage test, and if I pass it, the Warg doesn't run away, and it remains on the table as another model. Where is the Warg? Profile. If you go to the back, perhaps it will have it in the mounts, maybe. Um, it's probably where it, where it. No, they don't have it on here. Poor form, Games Workshop. But see, the Wog, it's got 10 inch movement. It's essentially a horse with strength 4 and 1 attack. And you can you use the uh, strength and. You can use the strength of the Wog to affect when you roll to wound. Fantastic. In, in combat, yeah. Which you would want to be doing. Which you'd be doing, obviously. Which you would be doing. Yeah. Fantastic. So, so I'm looking forward to seeing these guys in action in Middle Earth Deadly's war bands. Yep, it's an old a war band. A war band. What do you guys say? It's a wargs. A warg band. A warg band. <laughs> Middle Earth's lamest warg band. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're not we're not putting our hopes on them, but I don't Angmar know. could be quite interesting. I don't know. The, the, the matchup for these guys is Angmar versus the Army of Thor. I think the Army of Thor will will take down Angmar. But you never ever know. Um, I thought at one point during the uh, the Elves versus Rivendell versus Durin spoke. Yeah, Rivendell must have had it. I thought that Rivendell had it, but <laughs> down they went. Down they went. So support your Hobbit hobby. And happy strategy battle gaming. <laughs>